What's going on guys? So today it's kind of a catch-up day. Sorry I hadn't posted videos a little sooner. Just been hectic with went home for a weekend and come back and we've been in simulators and stuff. But I'm about to go over what I've done for weeks three, four, and five. I'm gonna break it up into three separate videos. Uh, a little bit easier to handle, bite-sized stuff. So here we go. Week three. So end of week two with we qualified with our M4s with iron sights and then we zeroed the uh, CCOs, our actual red dots. Now, uh, week three, you know, first thing we went right back out to the range. We actually qualified with our CCOs, which was much better, much, much better than the, the iron sights had gone. Everybody, either qualified expert or pretty close. So that, that was a pretty good day, uh, very uneventful. Uh, we did have a thing at the end where we had to burn up a bunch of ammunition and they put like four people on a lane to see who could shoot a perfect 40 out of 40. There was quite a few that did. Surprisingly enough, you would think with four people on a lane it'd be pretty easy. But there was a lot, there was a few that didn't. So, I uh, might get to do that. Just some fun stuff. We also did the grenade range. So, you went through basic training. I'm sure you know what that was like. You get your grenades. You'll go out, do the push pull pin all the whole the whole works like you do it there um, they did have us like you stand behind the blast wall and you can see the we had four stations going you can see the four stations and you'd have to run to the, the ammo point you get your grenade and they'd have you yelling the whole time till you went up to your actual spot and then you would hand off your grenades to the uh, the cadre there and they'd walk you through it, you know, the hand of your grenades kind of preset ready to go, you pull the pin, you throw. Very simple. Just getting to throw some ordnance. Hey, it was fun. Uh, also, we did a class on a platoon sergeant counseling. Now, they're going to have you do it in a memorandum format. I've been in almost seven years now, done counselings. I've always done them on the regular counseling form, I believe it's 4186. That's what I've always done them on. It didn't matter what rank it was, that was what we did. Now, they had us here actually fill them out as a memorandum format, and you could actually put a lot more information in there. I'm not a huge fan of it. I can understand why some people would do it, especially as an initial counseling, um, if you are first time meeting your platoon sergeant, stuff like that. Now, they did give us some pointers as far as when you get to your unit, don't go straight in first as a hey, platoon sergeant. I need to have a talk with you. We gotta start our initial counseling you don't really know how the unit runs. So get in there, 30 days, see how it kind of goes, see the, the atmosphere of your platoon, see how the people react, and go from there. Now when you do this counseling, also make it very, it should be goal oriented, but it should be team goal oriented. And the way they also said this, it should not be active voice. You, you know, platoon sergeant will do this, you will do that. Make it say, we will help to increase PT performance with a platoon by this much and give like hard numbers, say percentages. That's what you want to shoot for is more percentages. Let the platoon sergeant kind of help you with that to see what's a feasible percentage, what he really believes is an attainable goal. So uh, not much more on that. You'll, like, you'll get the class. It's not too in-depth, but you might have to do, like, do a mock uh, counseling while you're in there. They did a couple while we were there. No big deal. Uh, then we started the simulators for the M1 Abrams and the Bradley, depending on what platoon you're in, what platform you will start on. So platoons 1 through 3 started on the M1 Abrams, platoons 4 through 6 started on the Bradleys. Now, I started on the Abrams, and I kind of like the Abrams better. It's a one-shot, one-kill thing. As long as you're doing everything the way you're supposed to do it, it goes really smooth. Now, you do need to study ahead of going into the simulators to know the like the verbiage that you're going to say as a TC and as a gunner. Not so much the loader position, because honestly, as an officer, you're probably never, ever going to be in a loader position. A driver position, maybe never. Most of your gunner time is going to be sitting in the TC position. So the tank commander position is really what you need to focus on. Now, the gunners are just fun. That's where you really get to shoot a lot, and you do more of the hands-on portion of the shooting. Uh, and then also the last day of the week we kind of started our M1 Abrams platform training and they did also with the Bradley you actually go 
and work on the actual vehicles, not just simulators. So you learn misfire procedures, how to load and unload a uh, M1 Abrams, bore sighting, all that stuff during your platform phase. Now it also carries over into week four and it's gonna be on the next video I'll make, but uh, that's all the stuff you're gonna learn there. Past that, there wasn't a whole lot that went on this week. So it was pretty laid back, pretty easy. Um, also, another thing with the platform training, as on, a, on an Abrams, you're going to learn the 50 cal. That is one of the big uh, things that gets a lot of people in, a, in Abolic as far as no goes and actually being recycled. So that's another thing you really want to focus on. Walk through the steps, ensure that you're doing exactly how it says in the rubric. You want to say no. Switching from say, uh, single to automatic, every little step they're going to do because uh, first time through on the 50 cal, I actually got a no go just for the fact. I didn't say I was switching from single to auto. I just kind of like mock did it because it was already in single. And going through learning the process of how to do it, you'll understand why when you assemble the weapon back, it's already going to be in single shot. So you don't want to fool with it and mess yourself up. But that got me. Second time through, got it, no problem. Uh, other than that, not a whole lot for the week. It was just a lot of hands on stuff. Kind of fun. But other than that, guys. Uh, Hope you enjoy your weekend, and I'm going to work on some more videos for you. But other than that, comment, like, subscribe. If you have any other questions on anything, please sure to put them down below. Thanks.